Okay, let's turn to page 25 in the uh, notes. We'll look at session six. Our spiritual identity as sons of the resurrection. Jesus told the apostles that you're not of this world. That was the negative way of saying the positive truth because your sons of the resurrection is the opposite side of that. Let's read John 15, verse 18 to 21. Jesus said, If the world hates you, know that it hated me before. For it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you, the world would agree with you. But because you're not of the world, that's why the world hates you. Verse 20. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. They're doing all of these things because they don't know God. Now, he was talking about the religious leaders of Israel. He said they don't know God. There's many implications to that statement, that, but that's not for uh, this session. So, paragraph A. Jesus prophesied that they, the world would hate them for three reasons. Because they really hated Jesus. That's why they hate them. So the Lord's saying, don't take it personal when they hate you because it's me that they hate. The second reason that they'll hate you because you're not of the world system. Earlier that week, we'll look at it in a few moments. He said, uh, You're sons of the resurrection. That's who you are. You're not of the world. And the third reason they will hate you because they don't know the true God. They might have a religious background and religious training. But they don't know God. Paragraph B. Why does the world hate Jesus? John 7, verse 7. He says, They hate me because I testify against them. I testify against their deeds when they're evil, I call them out as evil. And he said, So just know that their hatred for me will be vented on you. Because if you say what I say or you stand for what I stand for, you will have the hatred they have for me against you. Paragraph C. Now, this is the first time that he ever announced this to them. You're not of the world. This was a new idea to them. He's only telling them on the night before he dies. Earlier, uh, some many months ago, he had heard uh, him tell the Pharisees. The disciples heard Jesus say to the Pharisees, You're of the world, but I'm not of the world. And I'm imagining the apostles going, What does he mean he's not of the world? That's a strange idea. So now, many months later, for the first time, he's saying, Remember what I told the Pharisees? It's also true of you. You're not of the world in the way that I'm not of the world. And so this was a, a new thought to them. Paragraph 2. For the first time he's saying this to them. But he's basing it on the fact that his resurrection would usher in a brand new era in salvation history. When he rose from the dead on Sunday, 
by, on the basis of the resurrection, they would have a whole new inheritance that would be in the age to come. Or they would have a heavenly inheritance, is what I meant to say. And so their spiritual identity was from then on to be called to be sons of the resurrection. It was on Tuesday of that week. In Luke chapter 20, he said, uh, those that are considered worthy to attain to the resurrection from the dead. Because there's people that are considered, considered worthy to be raised from the dead. To be worthy doesn't mean they earned it. It means that they received it based on God's terms, meaning by coming to Jesus and accepting his salvation. What makes us worthy of the resurrection is that we accept his leadership in our life. He said, uh, such people as this, they'll never die. I mean, they'll die physically, but then they'll live forever. They'll never die uh, again. Because they have a new identity. They are now sons of the resurrection. And that's how we are to see ourselves. We are to see ourselves differently now because of our, our union with Jesus and his resurrection. Now we fix our hope on the resurrection instead of hope on things happening in this life. Yes, we want good things to happen in this life. But we don't set our heart on those things and as the primary thing we set our heart on. When the scripture talks about fixing your hope, it means setting your heart on it in a full way. From now on, we make decisions that have eternal consequences. We make decisions about how it's going to affect our eternity. This is a whole new way to live. But when we accept this spiritual identity, that we're not of the world, but rather we're sons of the resurrection, it changes everything about our life. Paragraph 3. The apostolic gospel preached in the New Testament. They insisted that believers would anchor their life with an eternal perspective. Much, much of the gospel preaching that we hear in the West does not cause people to anchor their life at, into a, in an eternal perspective. But that's really the true gospel does that. Where we where people begin to make daily choices based on eternal consequences. Eternal rewards. Living for the age to come. Living for heaven. Which is the new Jerusalem. And the new Jerusalem is coming down to the earth, so heaven is coming down to earth. So when we talk about heaven, or the Father's house, we're talking about the new Jerusalem. That's the city we will live in forever. And the new Jerusalem is up above right now, but it's coming down to the earth. And so we will live in the new Jerusalem that will come down to the earth. So it is heaven, but it's heaven on earth. That's a big subject for another time. But I'm not, the reason I'm saying this is people think of living for heaven as kind of some ethereal kind of 
mystical existence. 有人想到说，我们要上天堂，好像是一个很虚幻的一个想法。No, in heaven. 在天上。We will have a resurrected body. 我们将有一个复活的身体。We will eat real food. 我们会吃真实的东西。We will have a supernatural. We'll have flesh and bones, but it will be supernatural flesh. 我们会有肉体跟骨头，但是是一个超自然的肉体。We will have an elbow. 我们会有一个。Because some people, when they think of being in heaven, 有的人想到我们在天上。They think like if I come and hug you, 我们觉得我们要过来拥抱。I'm gonna pass right through you, like whoa. 好像就要穿过你。Whoa, let's try that again. 我们再试一下，再试一下。But in heaven, what's gonna happen is boom. 天上的时候就会撞到。You're gonna have a physical body. 我们会有一个实际的身体。With an elbow. 手肘。And so heaven is really is has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So heaven is really has a physicality to it. So Anchor our perspective in that. When we put our perspective in that, we can love God far more effectively if we can get the pic, the big picture of our of our life story. If we see the big picture of our life story, we can make a bigger decision. We can walk in kindness and purity even when we're being hated by the world. 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 Even when we're If we're not anchored in an eternal perspective in the age to come, 如果我们没有把盼望放在将来永恒的时代，就没有办法胜过。As the place of our primary reward, our primary life goal, 永恒是我们的。最终的奖赏跟最终的盼望。As the place of our primary vindication and success of our life， 是我们人生最终极的成功。That's our primary goal, our primary greatness, our primary vindication of life. 是我们这一生最主要的目标，最主要的得胜。And it's so exciting. 是很让人兴奋的。So we can look at temptations, or we can look at being mistreated very differently. 所以我们可以用很不一样的眼光去看诱惑，去看被虐呃错待。Because they're very short-lived and they're not very powerful. 因为这些是很短暂的，没有什么能力。Someone says, "Yeah, what if they kill you? That's powerful." 那如果有人把你杀了呢？这不是很有。If they kill you one second later, you're in eternal glory forever. 如果你被杀一秒钟之后，你就在永恒的荣耀里了。You know, I've read a number of stories of people that have had death experiences. They died and but they came back. 我看过很多的故事，就是那些呃有死亡经历的，然后马上又回来。And I've read many, many of them over 50 years. 我在过去五十年又读过很多这样的见证故事。Whenever I find a book about that, I I I mostly buy it and read it because I just love the subject. 我听到这有有这样的故事，我一定会买这个书，因为我很有兴趣。You're gonna spend a lot more time in your resurrected body than you do your physical body right now. 你在永远复活的身体里面花的时间，绝对比你现在的这个肉体要花的时间更多。You may live in your physical body 60, 70, 80, 90 years. 你可能现在的肉体要六十年、七十年的时间。You'll live in your resurrected body 60, 70, 80 billion years. 那你在永恒的复活的身体要六十、七十、八十亿年的时间。And so these people. People that have had these death experiences. So, those who have had death experiences. One of the remarkable things that many of them testify to. They have many people who have done this. Is that they don't know they died when they died. They die when they die. They don't know they died. The lady has a car wreck. There is a person who gets hit. And she crashes. And she gets hit. Oh, that was really scary. She says, "Oh, that was really scary." She looks around. Then she gets out. Because her spirit man is very real. Actually, her spirit man is very real. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She doesn't know she died. 她都不知道她死了。She looked around like, boy, that was a close call. 然后就刚刚哇，好好惊险。She looks down and this lady looks just like her. 然后她就往下看，说，哎，这不是跟我长得很像吗 ？She's got the same watch on that I have. 说，哎，这不是我戴过的手表吗 ？I mean, it takes them a while. They go, oh my goodness. 
I died. Then, oh, I'm so alive. What is this? 可是我感觉还活着，到底是什么 ？I've read many, many, many stories like that. 我读过很多的故事，像这样子。Well, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you about my very favorite book. 我要跟你讲一个我最喜欢的一本书。In 50 years. 在这五十年间。Uh, like many of you, I've read hundreds, of, hundreds of books. 我读过上百本书。And maybe five books I've read two or three times. 可能有那么五六本书我读过两三次。Maybe five of them. 可能五本。Because they were that good, I had to read them a second time, maybe a third time. 因为这书太好看了，我就超过一遍去读它。But there's one book. 有一本书。I have read it. Well, really listen to it because I have an audio book. 啊，我是听用听的，因为是听的书。Twenty times. 二十遍。And I cannot stop listening to it. 我停不下来，一直听。I'm not going to tell you about it, but I'm going to move on to the next thing. 我就不讲了，继续。No, it's called Imagine Heaven. 那个叫做奇妙的天堂。How many of you ever heard of that book, Imagine Heaven? Oh, Imagine Heaven. 呃，想象天堂。Oh, you have a big surprise waiting you. Ah, 你会有一个很大的惊喜。Is that uh, this man uh, was an engineer for 30 years? 这个人呢，呃，三十年做工程师。His name is John Burke. 他叫江呃约 John Burke. Yeah, Burke. And you can just look on the internet, and he's got lots of stuff on the internet. 你网上一查就会有很多东西出来。But he was an engineer for 30 years. 他当工程师三十年。Then he heard of a person that had a death experience. 他听到有一个人有一个死亡的经历。They died in the operating room at the hospital and came back, and he didn't know what to think about that. 他在手术室呢就死了，然后做手术的时候后来又回来活过来。他不相信这样的事。He loved Jesus, but he didn't believe that story. 他很爱耶稣，但是他不相信有这样的事。But he ran into a second one. He just 碰到第二个例子，第三个例子，第四个。Then he investigated one thousand different testimonies over many years. He just 几年的时间去调查了一千个例子。He devoted his life to search these out. 他的一生就探索这样的事。And he a very biblical. 他是非常符合圣经的。And he doesn't believe much of what he hears, but he took the ones that were believable. 他呃听到很多故事是想象不了，但是他就选择。And he compared. And he compared them to the Bible. 比较跟圣经真理比较。And he tells the story that they tell. 然后就讲述他们的故事。And it is the most remarkable story. 是非常不可思议的故事。Like he'll take, uh, for instance, the the example of ten children. 他比如说会呃用十个小孩子。Two or three of them are in Asia. 呃两三个在中亚洲。Two or three are in Brazil. 两三个在巴西。Two or three are in Europe. 欧洲有两三个。None of them know each other. They're six, seven, eight, nine years old. Ah, they're all six, seven, eight, nine years old. They've had death, death experiences where they died and came back. They're all six, seven, eight, nine years old. They've had death, death experiences where they died and came back. They're all six, seven, eight, nine years old. They've had death, death experiences where they died and came back. They're all six, seven, eight, nine years old. They've had death, death experiences where they died and came back. They're all six, seven, eight, nine years old. They've had death, death experiences where they died and came back. They're all six, seven, eight, nine years old. They've had death, death experiences where they died and came back. From different languages with no knowledge of each other. They also have different languages, different cultures. They don't know each other. They all have different experiences. Well, the book is all like in, in, things like that. So this book has many things like that. And it is the most exciting, remarkable book. It is a very exciting, remarkable book. I put my little earpiece in. I have it on my phone. And I probably hear it. Three nights a week for about 20 minutes every night. 我就每天晚上听二十分钟，连着听了三天。For the last couple years. 在过去的几年。I'll wake up at two in the morning. 我大概半夜两点起起来。And I'll just turn it on and put the 15-minute timer on it. 我就把它打开，然后放个十五分钟。I'm hearing stories of I love it so much. 我就听这个故事，我就好兴奋。And so I just want to challenge you to go get that book. 我想要挑战你去买这本书。I'm guessing it's in many languages. 我猜可能有不同的语言。And I've heard a lot of folks. People told me about it. I thought I don't know. I don't know. But finally, I tried it out. 很多人都跟我介绍过，最后我终于看了。Fantastic. But one of the big things he says over and over. 但是他所一直重复讲的一个。Mostly when people die, they they don't know they died. 他说很多人死的时候都不知道自己死了。It takes them five, ten, fifteen minutes before they figure out they're not in their body anymore. 有的时候花了五分钟、十分钟才知道说哦，原来我已经脱离我的肉体了。Hundreds and hundreds of testimonies like this. 数百个见证都是这样。My point is this. 我的重点是。The most exciting day of your life is the day you die. 你最你人生当中最荣耀的一天就是你死的那天。So、people, sure 很多人花太大的精力不死。
that almost all of the people who die, many, many of them are given the offer by the Lord to come back or to stay. And almost all of them plead with the Lord to stay. And he goes, no, no, you have to go back because you have more work. And they plead with him, no, no, this is awesome. I never want to lose this feeling. I'll bring you, I'll bring you back. Anyway, when people think of martyrdom, they think, oh, this is the most horrible thing. Well, I tell you, the moment it happens, it's the most glorious moment of your life. Oh, this is awesome. I told my wife, I said, why are we eating healthy and working out? Why don't we just get there quicker? Oh, she gave me about 10 Bible verses and a big lecture. Okay, she's right, she's right. I said, but if we just got lazy and got ate bad, we could get there a few years earlier. Anyway, I'm joking, but she doesn't think that's funny. But she's not here, so don't tell her I said that. Well, anyway, heaven is so exciting. I got way off the subject. But that's okay. Paragraph D. The Bible talks about the world in three different ways. Number one, the Bible talks about the lust of the world. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes. The boastful pride of life. So lust, sinful lust is one uh, uh, way the Bible talks about the world. And that's how Jesus is referring to it here in John 15. But other uh, Bible verses talk about the world as the physical earth. And when the Bible says do not love the world, it's talking about the sinful values of the world, not be against creation. That's not what it's talking about. We're not supposed to ignore the excellence and the beauty of God that we see His handiwork in creation. Other passages talk about the world as the human race. God so loved the world. He didn't mean the earth, the physical earth. Although he does like the physical earth, he says very, very good is what he said in Genesis 1. God so loved the world, he's talking about the human race. So here in John 15, Jesus is talking about the first uh, uh, way that I describe the world from John chapter 3. Uh, uh, Roman numeral two. Our identity as sons of the resurrection. We understand when we came in relationship with Jesus. We were received into his family. We, Romans 6, verse 5, were united with him in the resurrection. Colossians 1, 13, were transferred from the dominion of this world to, the, to another kingdom. There's different biblical language for uh, this same reality. But when we see our spiritual identity as children of the resurrection. It greatly affects our life mission. It greatly affects our future, the way we look at the future. Paragraph B. Paul called it, he said, our citizenship is in heaven even while our bodies on the earth right now. Our citizenship is there already right now. You know, there's a lot of talk uh, in the political arena about America. 
讲论关于美国。And you know the 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 political statement, make America great again. 我们讲到说让美国再成为伟大的。And so people debate that. 有的人会辩论。I go, I love this nation. 我觉得我很爱这个国家。But my loyalty is my citizenship in heaven. 可是我的中心是在那天上的国。I go, I appreciate a number of things in 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 our nation and our history. 我对我们国家的事情也有很多是很感恩的。But my loyalty is to my citizenship there. 可是我的中心是在天上的国。And when things are not going that are in in our nation that are in agreement with heaven, I'm voting on heaven. 当地上的国没有跟天上的国赞同的时候，我还是要选择天上的国。And I know you you feel the same way. 我知道你也是同样。And so I said. Uh, that's where I anchor my heart is my citizenship there. So my heart is anchored in this. It's my citizenship in heaven. First Peter talked about. Peter 前书这样说 Our main primary inheritance for our life. 我们在这地上生命当中存留的基业 It's being reserved in heaven for us right now, even while we're physically alive on the earth right now. 是为我们在存留在天上，即使我们现在还活在地上 I gave Alan a cup of cold water yesterday. 我昨天给 Alan 一杯水，几杯水。Well, it, someone gave it to me, but I gave it to you. 有人给我一杯水，那我给你。But it, it's being reserved that reward for me in heaven. 那给我的奖赏是存在天上的。So I'm waiting for that. 所以我等着那个奖赏。No, it's really real. 是真的。You give people money. You give people encouragement. You serve somebody. You're it's being. It's being reserved in heaven. The reward for that is. You give a person a reward, a encouragement, a reward. Take another one. 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 Take 不只是在天上的国，你有一个房子，有一个产业。Not just our access to the throne of the Father, where we get to stand before Him. Yes, that's reserved. 而也而且也不只是我们来可以来到父神的面前，可以进到他前面。Even our rewards that we are accumulating by our obedience in this life, they're being reserved for us in heaven. 我们在地上持续的去顺服神，在天上就积存更多的奖赏。The paragraph C. C 点。Matthew six. Lay up or reserve for yourself. You have to lay up for yourself treasure in heaven. Heavenly treasure. Which the strange word here is that have treasure for yourself. That sounds so selfish. The Lord says, "You really, really want the treasure I'm going to give you there. I've got much, so don't worry about it. There's plenty." Think of your own life and lay up treasure for yourself. You have to think of your own life and lay up treasure for yourself. I call that sanctified selfishness. This is called sanctified selfishness. Does that make sense? Sanctified selfishness. 分别为圣的自私。I want these rewards, but it's holy to want them because Jesus tells us to. 我想要得着这样的产业跟奖赏，因为耶稣说这是呃这是好的。Jesus spoke on eternal rewards over fifty times. 耶稣讲到永恒奖赏超过五十次。Not a small subject. 绝对不是一个很呃不足为提的主题。He told the apostles in John 13 to 17. 他跟门徒在约翰福音十三到十七章里面讲到。At the Last Supper. 在最后的晚餐。Actually, right the end of John 14. 最十四章的最后。He goes, If you really loved me, you would be glad I'm going to die tomorrow to be with my father. 他说，如果你真的爱我，你就会很高兴我明天要受死去父那里。He said, I'm leaving to be with my father. 我离开要去到父那里。Which means I'm going to die. 意思就是我要受死。And he said, If you really loved me, you would rejoice for me. 他说，如果你真的爱我，你会高兴。So I'm just, I'm just moments away from being back with him. 我就是跟，就是只是呃。Yes, the suffering of the cross is so horrendous. 在十字架上受苦，听起来太恐怖了。But Jesus looked past it and said, "I'm going to be with my Father forever," and it's so close to now. 但是耶稣就知道说，我今天晚上就要去到父那里，是多么的靠近。And that's what that's one thing that persecution is going to do to the end time church. 我也相信逼迫就是对末世的教会是如此。It's going to bring the conversation and the occupation of heaven. To our minds and to our conversations in a very, very strong way. This pressure will use a very strong way to bring the heaven, 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 the heaven. Jesus in Matthew chapter five. Matthew five, the fifth chapter. He says, "Rejoice when you're persecuted." Jesus said, "When you're persecuted, you should rejoice." He said, 
be exceedingly glad, not a little bit glad. Great is your reward in heaven. This reality is going to cleanse and transform the end time church in the face of persecution. Roman number three. Page 27. We must not be defiled by the world's hatred of us or the world's temptations. Those are two things the scripture warns us not to be defiled by. Because we can get defiled by people hating us and persecuting us with our bitterness. Or even our fear to where we back away from our boldness to obey the Lord. Whether we get bitter at the people that persecute us, the people that lie against us, or if we uh, uh, get fearful and we begin to uh, not be faithful in our testimony to Jesus. In those ways, the world's hatred against us defiles us. Jesus is saying, you're not of the world. Don't let hatred against you defile you. Rejoice exceedingly glad when they hate you. Even if they kill you, you're going to be very happy when you see the end of this. But also, don't let the world's lust get you and defile you either. And John uh, in First John chapter two described the the lust of this world, the sinful lust, in three general categories. Called it the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And one preacher said this. This is pleasure without reference to the will of God, lust of the flesh. That lust of the eyes is possessions without reference to the will of God. And the pride of life is positions without reference to the will of God. So they're all three start with P. Can you say that? Does that work? No. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. But they, some of them got that though. Tell the others it was really brilliant what I just told them. No, no. <laughs> Paragraph C. C. Friendship with the world. That is these pleasures possessions and positions without reference to the will of God. He says if we have friendship with those things, it is actually we're making ourselves an enemy of God. That doesn't mean that when we're tempted and we stumble, now we're enemies of God. But when we settle in our hearts, we're going to go for those sinful pleasures. I'm going to pursue them. I'm not going to repent when I stumble on them. I'm going to pursue as many possessions as I can get, whether it's God's will or not. get as big of a position as I can over people. If I manipulate and I'm dishonest, I'm going to do it anyway. If we can, if we set our heart in those ways, and I'm sure there's believers that do that. James says you make yourself an enemy of God. It's one thing to be tempted and stumble and repent. It's another thing to say, no, my lifestyle, I'm going to get as much money as I can. I don't care how I get it. I'm going to get it. I don't care if it's God's will or not. That's what my whole heart is built, uh, set, set on. James is talking to believers here. 
He says you make yourself an enemy of God. You're that's hostile in your relationship to God. 他说你这是做神的敌人呐，与神为敌。And then Titus chapter two. 提多书的第二章。The grace of God has appeared to all men. 神的恩典是向众人显明出来。Meaning Jesus came, and now the reality and the message of grace is going forth in the nations. 意思是耶稣已经摆上这个恩典的信息，已经向世界传达出来。And the grace of God, when we're really listening to it faithfully, 神的恩典，当我们忠心去听的时候 ，it's teaching us something. 是教导我们什么 ？It's teaching us to deny worldly lusts. 教训我们就是否认世俗的情欲。So when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on the grace of God, so when people teach on In paragraph D, D 点 I'm going to end with this. 我最后要讲这个结束 Is that Jesus describes the hatred of the world against them? 耶稣描述这个被他憎恶 And the question is, why is it so hostile? Why does this have to be this way? 因着他被人憎恶是什么意思呢？为什么会被人憎恶呢 And G and the and the big picture answer is. The Lord is actually using the world's uh, uh, temptations and seductions. 就是神使用这个世界的诱惑 And the world's hatred and persecution. 和那些世人的对我们的憎恨 These things are coming against people who love God. 这些临到那些爱神的人 Temptations and persecutions. 逼迫跟诱惑 Because it's in the face of this hostility, in facing this hostility, we exercise our spiritual muscles. It's like doing spiritual push-ups. We're working our 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 faith muscle. We're working 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 our faith
Who? John Burke. B U R K E. B U R K E. And, and I, I'm assuming it's translated because it's millions of people love this. 有上百万的销售，我相信是有翻成其他的语言，或许有中文的。But if it's not, 如果没有的话 ，Do you know anyone who speaks Chinese? 你有认识讲中文的人吗 ？I mean, he speaks it real well. 讲得很好的。Krista. <laughs> okay. Krista. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We love your leadership. We love your storyline. And we know that you're going to help us bear fruit even in the face of temptation. Even in the face of hostility. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're just going to end with that. Amen. 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 See you at 6, 7.30 tonight. 7.30, right? Okay, good.